Microsoft is enabling what is called security defaults in Microsoft 365. It means that you need to download and configure the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone to access your account. Now, what will happen if you lose your phone, get broken, or just want to change it in the future? How will you transfer the authentication information to a new phone? My name is Carlos, and in this video, I will show you what you need to do if you are a Microsoft 365 user and need to configure the Authenticator app on your new phone so you can regain or keep accessing your account using multi-factor authentication or what is called two-step verification sometimes. When you get a new phone, you have three possible ways to regain access to your account. Ask your Microsoft 365 administrator to reset your multi-factor authentication configuration in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Here is a video on how the administrator can do this. Restore the authentication configuration from your backup. For this option, you should have configured your backup before disabling the old phone. If you still have access to your old phone, you can configure the Authenticator app in the new phone by approving it from the old phone. This will work as long as you haven't removed the app from your old phone. It is important to know that Microsoft Authenticator transfer can only be done from Android to Android or from iOS from iOS. It is not possible to transfer the information between different operating systems. If you are switching from Android to iOS or vice versa, you will need to do it manually. So the Microsoft Authenticator app offers an option to create a backup that you can restore on a new phone. This could be a big relief when you don't have access to your old phone. You will be able to continue accessing your Microsoft 365 account when you want or need to change your phone. This is also particularly important if you are the Microsoft 365 administrator. Let's see how to enable this backup and restoring it from your old phone. We will start by enabling the backup and configuring the place or the account where the backup is going to be stored. On our old phone, we need to access the Authenticator app. Then we need to tap or click on the three little dots that we find in the upper right corner of the app. Then tap on Settings, and we will see a section called Backup. There we will be able to enable the Cloud Backup. As we can read here, you need a personal Microsoft account to store the backup. So we need to click on Add Account. Now we sign in or log in into the Microsoft account where the backup is going to be stored. Once we sign in, the backup will be stored in our personal account. And that completes the setup of the backup. In the future, we will be able to restore that backup. Let's now see how to restore the backup on a new phone. Here, we will start by downloading the authentication app and installing it in our new phone. We will go to the App Store and search for Microsoft Authenticator app. We click or tap on Install. Once the app has been downloaded, we open it. We need to accept the privacy conditions. Then we click on Continue. And then the first time that we open the application, we'll find this screen. At the bottom, we will see Restore from Backup. And now we sign in into our personal account. This is the account where we store the backup. Once we sign in, the backup will be restored in our new phone. And that will complete the necessary steps to restore the backup on our new phone. Let's see how to configure the Authenticator app on your new phone if you still have access to your old phone. Let's see how it works. We will open the Authenticator app and we need to click or tap 
on Add Account. We now select the type of account that we want to configure in the Authenticator app, a personal account or a work or a school account, which is the Microsoft 365 for Business account. In our example, we are going to configure a work or a school account. We can now select how we will configure the authentication. We can read a QR code from the screen or we can just sign in. In this example, we are going to select Sign In. We will enter the credentials of our Microsoft account, the username, and the password. We now click on Sign In, and the process will request the approval from our old phone. Once we approve it, the configuration will be completed, and then we will be able to approve any login from our new phone. Now, I'd like to hear from you. Do you have any comments or questions? Put it here down below, so all can benefit from them. If you like this video or find it useful, feel free to subscribe. Maybe consider supporting the channel by using the Super Thanks button. Thank you for watching and see you next time.